My name is Drew Evanders. Welcome back to Valheim Building World. Today I'm going to make a flying boat using this light post pedestal thing because it is stable enough to support a build without touching the ground or anything else touching it at all. If you look on the map, I'm very far south compared to all of my other builds and everywhere that is marked in the Mistlands is a place where I can build a floating structure. Wow. I'm going to build some iron supports before I knock down the rocks and I'm going to mine away the rocks. A little longer than a few minutes later. I have now mined away all of the rocks, and the light post is clearly sitting in the air without anything supporting it, because it is the support. There's a lot of stone on the ground, and normally I would just dump all of the rocks and the extra materials in the ocean, just like a major corp American corporation. What I'm saying is the planet's on f***ing fire. Well, because of the mist, I'm going to use the remove drops command because I don't think I'm going to be able to get all of the rocks picked up off the ground with the mist in the way. And now I'm going to build some iron support for the boat. One hour later. I've now completed the, the framing, all the, the support for the, the boat. And I, I realized that this is more much more complicated than I thought it was going to be. So there's that to deal with. And I also just realized that every all of the audio I captured before this was non captured my my voice so i'm gonna have to do a little bit of a voice over so everything before this was a voice over in the video everything after should not be hopefully i can smell the failure well like the main idea is like this is like the base level i'm gonna put a base level floor in right here and then in here i'm gonna have like a crafting station level and then below that i'm gonna have a, a storage section and the main thing to remember about this this is just the support structure so i could like build off of it make do a whole bunch of tricks i have it's way more complicated than i was originally thinking it was going to be but it's coming along oh yeah it's all coming together and i'm thinking for the main part of the walls i think i'm going to be using logs because it's more custom than just using these walls and these walls don't look the best but i think the logs will do the best and how it will look and how I can be able to get all of this custom like angle of right here because this part right here is going to be have to be like super custom and it's going to be a little bit ridiculous to be able to do but I'll hopefully be able to do it to make it look good and the part I'm going to be working on now is I'm going to put in thatch roof right in the middle of you on this entire layer so that everything below can be uh, all supported for it crafting stations and whatnot below. And that's the thing I'm gonna work on next. One hour later. Well, I finished placing on all, all the wood for the flooring. I got it on all four separate layers. And I, I also got these all up in here. So underneath here, you can be able to have your shelter to have all your crafting stations and then working properly. And also I had most of them go up above the iron beam support beams just a little bit so that you won't be able to have to see them when you're walking through inside which I think would look really bad. But I didn't do that on the bottom one here because this one, this bottom one is more like a storage area so that it doesn't really matter if it looks bad down here. And you can notice that I haven't completed everything through here. And that's because I haven't gotten the walls all figured out because it's going to be kind of awkward trying to put these in here without knowing where the, exactly the wall is going to end up being. So that's the next step that I got to do now and hopefully I can be able to get it to look good because stuff like this right here is going to make everything extra complicated so hopefully it goes okay. The next day. Well I've completed most of the walls however there's some that are left that are like super difficult which is all of this in the front here because everything is going to have to be put at an angle uh, everything is going to be super custom and also because this kind kind of juts out a little bit i'm gonna have to make it extra custom so it, it's not going to be easy but i'm going to do it do it this area back here is also going to be kind of difficult i did do some difficult spot over here this was wasn't too bad right over here but it was this is how it looks now it doesn't look the best but i mean i think it looks okay and this is how it looks on the inside right at this spot i also added in two separate sets of stairs inside the ship 
And there's also stairs on the outside going up to the top area. And for the wheel, I put a shield because it's the best round thing that's this kind of like size that would be good for a steering wheel. And on the inside here, I put in a whole bunch of windows. This would be for like the, the captain's bedroom. And this is the captain's bedroom. I really like how this is turned out. It's not, it was, this was probably the easiest part of the entire build to be able to do. I might put windows down here. I might put like doors or whatever. I'll, I'll figure that out once I get to it. And I also put shutters right here for say like cannons if I wanted to put cannons in here. But this game doesn't have any cannons so that's just for style and decoration. Three hours later. I have now finally finished putting up all the logs for for this. I think it looks quite good. I got it to all be all placed in like this way and I think it looks good. I'm actually pretty proud of it. And I also got this part done, which is also good. And I also made sure the inside looks good as well. It's not perfect, but this is what the inside looks like. I also made sure that there was the, the floor went up to the wall and not past it at all. This is what the front of the inside looks like right here. It looks decent. And this is what the back of the rounded part looks like. I also quite like how this part looks as well. So now I'm going to be working up on the sail, making sure that looks all good and dandy. The dandy way to live. And I'm also going to work on filling out the top part of this, making it go up a little bit more so it looks more like a real boat. One hour later! So I did the sails using the white banners and I also used shields up at the top for like the little red flag that you end up seeing at the top of uh, ships like that. And I also did the angle right there, and I think that this little angle that goes up right there, I think that really puts together the entire build. Oh really? And I'm going to show you a little secret, is that this bit all right over past here is all just flat. It's not actual, like, you could walk through it, and it's just like a little, it's a little deception for the screenshot or whatever for the entire build. But I think it works better that way because it's way simpler and easier to deal with than doing something like this all over again. I got the crow's pit up here and I was gonna have it be a little bit bigger and I looked down because I wanted to be exactly circular but in this one isn't it's octangular because I, I looked down and it was like just way too big down there and that was not okay. Now I'm gonna work on the inside details so like the crafting station, the chest station, and the bedroom for the captain. Two hours later I have now finished with all the details on the boat. And for the outside details, I put about a whole bunch of fermenters. I use them as big barrels around. I put a whole bunch of those around. I also got some, I got some carts. I put stuff inside of them and I broke it. That's how I got these little cargo containers. You can kind of like push them around and whatnot. This is the captain's quarters. There's a bed right here. There's some little chest spots right there little cabinets and behind you have all of the weapons that are like really cool it's plus some magic stuff you got a whole bunch of cool stuff and then you also got a whole bunch of potions as well and then you guys he has big chests for random big chest stuff for like treasures and whatnot he has a new yol trophy above his bed and like they also have six sets of armors. You got the heavy armors on this side. You got one magic armor and two light armors on this side. Going down into the crafting station. This is what it looks like. You got lesser crafting stations over here. I mean, I kind of guess you can call them lesser, but they're not really. So you got the normal crafting station, and then you got the magic crafting station, the gold table, and then you got your artesian table over here, and no, no bonuses around it because it doesn't have any bonuses, and it's kind of a lame crafting table. Even though it looks really cool, it's more like one of those hype games. There's just, there's a whole bunch of, like, looking cool stuff, but it doesn't have any content with it. And then there's the, you got your, both your smithing tables over here. And then you got your smelter and your chocolate bono. And I did put some stone underneath of it, connected to the iron, so that these could be here. It's the same thing with the oven over here. And I also got a small little cooking section back over here underneath the stairs. Mainly so that the, the it's underneath the stairs so the smoke can go up through the only vent in this entire room. And I also used brazers, the, the blue ones, because I thought the blue ones looked cool. And that also creates a whole bunch of smoke. But that's also fine because it, I don't know, it just kind of dissipates somehow. What? And then going down into the bottom, there's the, the storage room. And I quite like how the storage room turned out because it looks kind of cool as well. That's what I, I think. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and comment down below. It'd be fantastic if you gave me a sub sandwich. And I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.